Hello, hello, everybody. Tonight, we're going to be continuing our Age of Calamity adventures. Last time, we got the Master Sword. Everybody was named champions. And thus, everyone should have their tunics and stuff. Well, I guess Link's the only one that really has the tunic. You can still wear your good pants. And then I guess, yeah, just like, this is a canonical Link. Although I wonder where he got the Hylian shield. Because he didn't fight no stall Hinox in the middle of the castle. You have a lot to look forward to. Just stick with me, okay? This will be my team there. As the game was pointy, 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 pointing. Let's see. What does it want me to fuse everything with? Well, first things first, we need to see what emblems are available because we have the... What is that? Like a... It's not an octagon. It's like a... Sectagon? What's six points? Because like sect for sex... Uh, for six? Bleh. Brain is bleh. Because like... Oct... Is like eight. It's not a pentagon. So, like, if we wanted, we could throw on damage at full hearts, and that would boost it, because they're the same shape. Same thing with damage from enemies. Now I wonder what, like, a max attack speed emblem build would be like for a weapon. It would probably depend on the weapon, and, like... like the character, the weapon, and like how the emblems all come together, but I think that would be kind of neat. But it doesn't look like there are any like emblems that I really want to throw on to the Master Sword, because if it's the Master Sword and we don't have like, because I can only presume that later on we're going to have the ability to like fine-tune emblems and maybe even swapping stuff for like hefty rupee cost but that's probably far in the future and there doesn't seem to be any other like damage per 100 KOs up or like any other I'm just gonna call it an octagon because it's simple even though it's not an octagon other octagon emblems and from YouTube chat hello 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 we're just quickly going over our current batch of items to make sure everybody is going good. Because we never know when we'll be thrust on to use them. Hmm. I guess, like, uh... Yeah, went down here. I guess this one wouldn't be that bad because she does actually get enemies into the, well, smaller enemies. She doesn't actually get many, like, big enemies into the air, but oh well. Let's see. <laughs> Zelda's getting all the damage per, like, KOs. Ooh, we want to save that until we get another emblem. <laughs> she can be the one that gets all the 100 KO ones. Otherwise, we'll just... And... Oh, that almost gets her there. Almost gets her to level 10. And then the next one. Oh, but then... There we go. Now Zelda can just utterly annihilate enemies by the hundreds. Uh, I still love the music in this game. It's just so good. Let's see. 
Mipha's is definitely not like super duper good, so we'll probably aim for this other attack speed one. <laughs> to be the next emblem we give to her. And of course, the boy, we probably don't have the money to drop things onto him. So let's see. Because do we have any, like, uh, well, we do have another damage per 100 KOs to throw on to him. But I was just wondering if we had any other, like, fusion material experience bows, but it does not look like it. And we shall use up all our money to probe it on. Could have sold, but before we begin, we shall do a few... Just like ones down here. I didn't do any grinding off screen since last time, so we don't have like uh, we still have these uh, like a uh, few ones that are like, oh, I need material. Let's see. Ah, oh, this one is purely Ravali, so we can do this one. Monsters have been spotted in Rito Village, and Ravali is quick to the fight. Hold off the enemy until Rito reinforcements arrive. And of course, we're going in as Ravali. Hmm, we could do... Uh, we'll, we'll do... We'll do rupees. Surprising. Let's get more rupees. That's the thing we need the most of right now. From YouTube chat. Hello, hello, hello. We are doing a few of the side quests before moving on with the main quests and heading into Akala. I wonder why we're heading into Akala. Because I know the last main story mission we did was slightly filler and was mostly there to be like Link has like everything going for him. He's growing in power, and uh, Zelda's feeling inadequate. Take this. Oh, dang. Be still. Luckily, I can do it now. <laughs> Ooh. I'll annihilate you, and then. All your friends will soon die. Get another victory. Still love the music. Huh, didn't even mean to do that. Big Horn Moblin. Knock me out of the air of his friend. But it doesn't really... I don't think any of these are actually... Oh, no, there is one. There is one singular blue moblin over there. It just says a blue moblin is doing the assault when it's just like... The only one. All the other ones are red. Still love this song. There's another one. Finally, another blue one entered it. We have the full blue man group. And I'll just do this. I'll blast you all. Oh. <laughs> that was weird. Ah, so the assaults are, hey, they're 
reinforcements of the enemies that are coming in to get you. They're at the spawn points. That's what that means. Begun and assault is just lingo. Prepare for obliteration. to die. Luckily all the ice whiz robes are all coming from the same place. And shall soon meet their fate. love my favorite combo. Rivali's stasis is so good. Because it does damage while allowing you to combo the enemy. Stop freezing me is illegal. Let me special attack you to death. I guess this might be a good place to like, uh... Oh, I can I, I dodged out of my stasis extra damage. I'm a fool. But but I wonder if this is like a good place for like uh just grabbing like what is it? Just grabbing moblin type stuff. Though I, though granted, moblins are pretty like good. I don't think I need to farm moblins. You took your sweet time getting here. Now I have to share the fun. Which is funny. The last time I glanced at the clock, it was still up two minutes to go. And we got fish! And Snow Quill Headdress for Link. Now he just needs the chest armor, and he can have the full canonical Neon Breath of the Wild Rito Drip. Just like he would in, as in the future. <laughs> and plus it doesn't really obscure his head as much compared to the other ones like... This headdress? Or like just hair? It's kind of conspicuous. This nice, simple, Rito aesthetic, feathers in the ear. It just works. You hardly even know that they're there. Outpost Defenders. Recommended level 26. Which reminds me, I probably Ooh. need to bump up some people's levels. Definitely need more rupees to level everybody up. Let's see. Messenger's Escort. That's time limited. That one's not. So for this one, probably take Ravali and somebody else in. Then this one can be basically anybody. Let's see. The small town has been ravaged by monsters and the residents need help. Defend the outpost in each area and chase away any monsters. See? Since these are my heavy hitters, we'll just go rupee. Surprising. Mm -hmm. I like this calm. I I was meaning to take somebody else, so I was just like, oh, I got hooked on the cooking. Forgot to swap somebody else out for Link. Or like swap Link out for somebody else. Ah, oh, well. My brain just runs all over the place. Well, it is a time-limited one. So not the worst one to be like, Oh no, I accidentally, my heavy hitters for a side quest. 
Now, if it was like uh, a level 15 side quest, definitely would have been a waste. Now, let's see. Oh. How about no? <laughs> Almost got you. Yeah, that's right. Run away. There we go. Flurry rush to destroy you. I can kill you without even looking at you. Be still. Be still, as in die. Goodbye, fire whiz robe. We'll set him in here as we get flurry rushed, idiot. Stop your wild game. Be gone. Very rude. More flurry rush. I'll take that blue moblin. More Flurry Rush! I'm just really good at dodging with Link. With Flurry Rushes against these guys. Then again, it is the most just absolutely obvious like, uh, Flurry Rush dodges. The most telegraph. Goodbye. Very stabby, how dare. Come on, will you do something? There we go. More flurry rushes. Prepare for annihilation. How about no? Stop. Too easy. God dang it. Dang it. It's that one that always gets me. Not really, because I think doing that when you have a weak point active is, like, the most profitable of all the combos. How? Okay, this place is just crawling with enemies now. There's way too many moblins here. You stand a chance. Oh, and a Hinox. Well, that's not good at all. Still. Like all the enemies had to have come this way. And I'll do this. Catch the two moblins and the Hinox together. So maybe it's a good thing I actually had this one. Stop. 
blast him away. Try it. Too easy. There we go. Get smacked. How dare you have shin guards, by the way. Shin guards, illegal for Hinox. We discriminate against the monsters of the Calamity. I cannot even see. Be gone, evil Satan man. And it should just utterly annihilate you. Be gone. Too easy. Link. <laughs> Meanwhile, Link subduing three fire moblins at the same time. Did not expect to come back to that. And a Hinox for him, too. Well, now, you've got some amount of talent. Perhaps I'll inspire you to even greater heights. Oh, well, that's very rude. How about no? No idea how that's supposed to uh, fully stop you from raining down hell, but good. I almost got it. I think that, like, jump back would have actually done damage of how big he is. Very rude. I wonder if this is the first time we've had to fight two Hinox in the same, like, mission. Feels like it. Very rude, I was definitely dodging there, and I cannot see. Camera angles are destroying me! Be gone! Get stabbed in the eye! <laughs> the only possible resolution. The twin outposts were kept safe! We did it! So it was a good thing I accidentally chose my heavy hitters for this. And we got another damage per 100 KOs for Ravali. I definitely want to... Well, maybe that one, because it is a... Oh, damage range. I wonder if that's unique to the bows. Could be anything. And remember to be hydrated during the evils of invasion. From YouTube chat, hey, Neon. So do you know about the first game titles of the Persona series, P1 Revolutions, P2 Duology, Innocent Sin, and Eternal Punishment, and what their storyline is about? I do not. The closest that I know is that they are far closer to Shin Megami Tensei because technically Persona 3 is like Shin Megami Tensei like colon Persona 3 and then Persona went on to spin off to be its own diddly dee but I do not actually know the story like for some reason my brain wants to say one of the games is like a school gets sucked into a demon dimension, but that's probably wrong. But we got all the Hinox stuff to get bonus experience earned from enemies. A read on the enemy. The castle's librarian wants to make a detailed record of the battles that have happened thus far. For a complete accounting, he'll need you to provide data about the enemies you fought. <laughs> Take all my Hinox stuff, I guess. 
Compiling enemy data in an easily digested format had an unexpected side effect. It paved the way for quicker research of monster fighting techniques. And we can get a Daruk bonus combo. Miners in Elden have noticed some rather precarious boulders over their heads. Send foods that'll give the workers the extra muscle they need to shift those big rocks. If only that was like how if only that was how it worked in real life. Oh, you want to move big rocks just eat good food. I guess technically that is kind of how it is, but that's like over a long period of time plus a lot of other things. It's not just like, "Oh, I eat this food. I am now Popeye. I ate my my spinach." Thanks to the food's empowering effects, the miners moved those boulders aside with no problem. Now they can work more safely and perhaps even expand their mining operations. And a Mipha bonus combo as well. Zora soldiers looking to follow Mipha's example plan to practice diving from a high place. Some of them aren't very experienced divers, however. Find some kind of material to ensure their safety. I will not rest on my laurels. The soldiers are all completed the dive training without any injuries. Mipha was touched by their devotion to improving themselves, and she resolved to apply herself even more to her own practice. And let's see, we can do this one, the messenger's escort which also includes a Hinox, but is not timed, so we don't have to worry too much. Who do we want to throw in there? It's been a bit since we played Mipha. Let's throw Mipha in there. Oh, but it is uh, below recommended level, actually. <laughs> Everyone is. Off to the leveling school. Ooh. Get everyone up to at least level 25, except for Hestu since he's 24. It's not that big a deal. Misclick there, but Impa will just have to suffer. And let's go, Mifa, and be the messenger's escort. This is what happens when you have favorite characters in these kind of games. You prioritize them, and then everybody else falls behind. Do da da do do da do. I don't know why, but my brain is very much on the oh, play Ocarina of Time, play Ocarina of Time, just in my head. So depending on my mood by the end of the Age of Calamity, let's play, play through streaming. We might just uh, put off Tears of the Kingdom and go do Ocarina of Time. I don't know. Ha. Thanks so much for agreeing to help. You're the actual best. Ha -ha. You better not turn out to be like a, a Yiga for, that I have to fight at the end. What? Oh no, these guys are unex so unexpected. What are we gonna do to get by these guys? Don't really have any good Mipha. Oh, there we go. That's a good combo. Be gone. We have a clear path forward. Come on. Get out of here, minion. Be gone, singular bacoblins. We have to move along. I swear, they just keep spawning.
we move on, Mr. Captain Man? Good thing this isn't timed. Dang it. Illegal. Get rushed, idiot. With grace. With grace, I summon a bunch of water. It is done. The murder is complete. I always mistimed the big slams. Sure. Luckily, I think I managed to destroy all the bacoblins along the way. And the captain is not harmed. From YouTube chat. Hi! Hello, hello. Don't worry, no spoilers to these storylines. Here's just some background context about the Persona series and its earliest concepts. That's neat. Like the... How it... Like they originally came up with it, maybe. That could be cool. Because it's probably... Because it is called Persona, so maybe it's always, like, roughly been tied to the idea of, like, psychology. But maybe not. I know that at least at times it's like taking inspiration from like Jungian psychology I believe but for the entire series as a concept I don't know and again considering that it is a, a spin-off of Shin Megami Tensei that would be cool to like know how it went from Shin Megami Tensei to like Persona as it is still kind of funny that Persona took off in the West more than Shimigami Tensei did. Take down such a strong enemy. You must be the greatest warrior in history. Nah. Just a Zora princess. Definitely need to jump back to Persona 3 and finish that at some point. The main problem is that it's just long. And Brain is like very, very much like, go do more, play other games. Game after game after game after game. Ah, Spirit of the Zora, just a perfect timing. I mean, it doesn't feel like... Because I wonder if like the 20% rupees is like an overall thing, or if there's a cap, because it does seem like a lot of missions seem to stay at 700 rupees. I wonder how it would taste. But a character experience is definitely uncapped, I believe. Such like how the concept of the Velvet Room and its residents came to being this Lorne gameplay concept-wise was already introduced in the first title. Oh, that's neat. That's actually something I didn't think about too, too much, because I knew that the first two games were more Shin Megami Tensei than Persona 3, 4, and 5. But that's kind of neat that, like, I guess Igor and the uh, Attendant and the Velvet Room have just always been there in all of the Persona games as, like, a unifying concept. Because usually, even when it comes to non-spin-off games, just, like, concepts definitely, like, change over time. 
I mean, just take a look at the first two Legend of Zelda games. Like, I don't think we've ever returned to, like, a full-on side-scroller like the second one, aside from the CDI games, but uh, the CDI games do not count. Da -da -da -da. I do enjoy me like some Mipha theme Zora Domain battle music. Almost got gotcha, you, you bastard. Charge all you want. I will murder you someday. Like now. wonder. Since, like, all these monsters are, like, pretty much just made up of, like, malice to a degree. Couldn't, like, Calamity Ganon just, like, summon monsters nearly wherever he wants? Inefficient Ganon. Which also makes me wonder how many Legend of Zelda games there have been that like, don't feature Ganon as the big bad. So I know one of the running jokes of Legend of Zelda is that, like, hijacked by Ganon is just like a full-on trope. So, like, Ganon just keeps coming back, coming back, coming back. time to annihilate all enemies along the way. Is there enemies in here? I'll take this chest. I will take the mighty Porgy. We only have one minute. I was definitely playing with my food too long. deal with a boss of some kind. Or maybe not. I'll parry loop. Oh, seems like the time limit vanished when we entered here. That'd be handy. Oh, and I can just do this again? them all with magic water. Behold, they are retreating. The domain is secure all thanks to Princess Mipha. Right. No, thanks to all of us. I will ever be grateful for your courage today. And that is why Mipha is just top tier. Utter darling. A blink. He is one ladle too many. The legendary ladle must be thrown out. Be gone, ladle. 
You are unwanted in this world. Now, luminous stones, luminous stones can stay. Now, let's see. I don't think we've come to the it's Royal you. Labs in a bit. Ah, yes. oh, we can do some of them. The Menace of Vicious Monsters. Gain ability to challenge vicious, vicious monsters. I guess, let me first, let's see. That'll take a lot of trophies, but not too, too many. Danger! We're detecting danger from all across Hyrule. Particularly vicious monsters have been sighted lately. I need your help determining a pattern for when and where they may show up. Sure thing, Robbie. Fantastic! Yeah! It's all settled. The Royal Ancient Labs researchers will report vicious monster sightings whenever they occur. There'll be difficult battles to be sure, but the reward should be well worth it. Neat. And up here, increased sensor registered material drops. Have you ever tried using the Sheikah sensor to locate something, but to no avail? That's because you didn't desire the thing with a pure heart and... Ha! <laughs> just kidding. Leave it to me. <laughs> I tuned done. up the Sheikah sensor for you. This should help you secure plenty of the materials you're seeking with it. It wouldn't hurt to still keep your heart pure and all that. <laughs> From YouTube chat, there's a mysterious entity that exists in the Sea of Souls whose name is... Philemon, a man wearing a mask resembles a golden butterfly design. He's the entity who created the Velvet Room into existence. Huh. I don't think I've ever even heard of him before. Or seen him. Gain ability to buy apples. Decrease ingredients needed for cooking. I'll add that to the sensor. Weapon capacity plus 10! What the hell do I need for that? Report vicious monsters, I need to kill a vicious monster. To get a plus 10 to weapon capacity. Uh, just the ability to uh, procrastinate on fusing or selling weapons. Oh, but it could be worth it. <laughs> then up here, reveals vicious monsters in battle info. Ooh, so I, I'm not even able to see what I'm going to be fighting. And then, use remote bombs to defeat 100 enemies. Increase remote bomb damage. Completion conditions and red chew jelly. Hmm. Oh, research quests register. These are completely separate. And then up here, it's obtain question mark question mark, which is just guardian claw. No idea where to get one of those. Don't be a stranger. Vicious monster sightings. The folks at the Royal Ancient Lab have observed some unusually vicious monsters. These battles will be difficult, but the rewards will be well worth the trouble. I don't think I've ever done this. <laughs> Level 17, you say? I uh, will still go along with my boy. You have a lot to look forward to. Because, uh, fear. You call this fear? Surprising. Surprising. Onwards we go. I forgot to read the battle, like, quest name. Or, like, description. I am a fool. I'll have to read it after we get out. In fact, I don't think I've, like, uh, read the battle descriptions of a few of the past battle quests. Nah. But onwards to Vicious Monsters. I probably should have picked a safer character like Link. But the boy! Ravioli! Yeah, they're just a bit stronger, but goblins. Ooh, my final, like, uh, quick, quick. 
is bomb arrows. Prepare to be annihilated. <laughs> ultimately annihilated. I'm trying to think of, I think I fought a few silver moblins in Breath of the Wild, but not many, and I think only ever in Hyrule Castle. Goodbye. A stone talus has appeared. Well, I don't think we need to fear it. It's across the river. I don't think it'll get across. But it does look scary. Why does it look scary? Stronger than strong, Stone Talus. And a nice moblin has appeared. You're finished. Be still. Too easy. Behold. Take this. Oh. Aha, flurry rock, idiot. You fool! You're finished. Very rude. Still. Stay up. All these moblins coming to help out this talus. me from being annihilated by rocks. More flurry rushes. Quit kicking me. Illegal. Oh cool, if I flurry rush an enemy next to another enemy, both of their stuff goes down. Get another victory. That's very cool. Another flurry rush that saved me from having to dodge an entire thing. And now, time for annihilation. You stand a chance. Vicious monster, I found you quite plain. Hopefully it won't disappear, disappear, and I'll be able to read the battle description. Oh, Jesus. That's a lot of diddly dees. And now I have need to defeat enemies with bombs to finish up a quest. And from YouTube chat, Philemon is also based on a real historical figure, the same name in ancient history that inspired the character concept in the Persona title. Just search it up on YouTube or Google if you're interested. Maybe. Maybe if uh, after... Ah, oh, it did disappear, damn it. 
I guess so you don't grind it. But I am a fool and was a, did not read up on all of these battle descriptions. But I might. Probably after I at least play through Persona 4 and 5, just in case I can try and pick out any existence of Philemon in my playthroughs. This small town has been... Oh, wait, no, I think we actually read that one. A messenger needs to deliver news to the town, but monsters have made the roads dangerous to travel unaided. Chase off the monsters and escort the messenger to the safely to their destination. It's you! Hmm, yes! Do, do, do. So I need to destroy some minis, but we'll go ahead and do this. So now we have tons Fantastic. of weapons. With the Royal Ancient Lab's weapon storage box, you can now carry more weapons than ever! You can also manage and use them as you see fit, or simply gaze at their sparkly splendor. Hell yeah. Now that's the power of DLC. Weapon capacity plus 20? What? Gain ability to increase max weapon level. Okay, this place is kind of crazy. I'm loving it. Ba 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 ba. I'm loving it. Gain ability to buy apples. I'm not really all that interested, but I am interested in what might be up there. And it's not going to take too much from me. Lots of rupees! But, hey, I'm going to be able to hoard a bunch of uh, weapons and then sell them. Yeah. Couldn't have done it without you. I've tweaked the Sheikah Slate's text so that you can secure supplies from the royal family no matter where you are. It's not free, but hey, what is? And then I can't do that one because I need to find more of them. Apple discount. <laughs> Don't be a stranger. But I'm really liking the ancient tech lab. And then another one popped up here that we cannot do. Uh, it's probably just a basic description. Your skills are needed to vanquish a threat at the Great Hyrule Forest. This could get vicious. Up there, selling things. Yeah! yeah! Then cross the volcano. Now this feels like a job for Daru. Leave it to me. Yeah, and I'm right there, I can buy six apples. Buy some apples. On the end, in the modern Persona titles, such as three, four, and five. Never mentioned or referenced Philemon at all. The last time he ever appeared in the series was the P2 Eternal Punishment. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Hilariously, right before the games started to really come to the West and become popular. <laughs> That's very interesting. I wonder precisely why they decided to not really reference him at all. If it was just like... Like, they just wanted to go in a different direction, maybe change the lore a bit. Just like, what? What's all this about? shouldn't be wasting so much time destroying you. Also, camera being annoying. Hilariously, the unlocked camera is so much better. No idea why. Oh, we need to kill him anyway. Out of the way, fire keys. Stasis. 
Yeah, his stasis isn't nearly as good as the others. You can't dodge out of his animation. Get flurry rushed, idiot. Rollin', rollin', rollin'. I do not f fear you, mini talises. Die and give me diamonds. You thought you could attack me? You cannot. Hello, Igneo Talus. Dang it. Dang it. You crushed me. You're a Goron. How can you catch on fire? There we go. <laughs> Just launch myself into the sky to hit you. What, you fuse back together? Well, actually, what if I just did this? I need to use those more to just speed up the destruction of these enemies. Like, I just saw the, the power thingy over here and was like, yeah, I should do that. Should probably do that indeed. But now I wonder what other kinds of games have, like, early staple, like, characters across multiple games that just went away after a while. And I forgot to use moms. I need to do that more. Like, early staple bigwig kind of characters that they just let fade away after a while. Do -do. A level 19 has what I need and has a thing. That is a unique thing in there. It has a unique thing. You have a lot to look forward to. And of course, we're gonna throw Rivali in. You call this one surprising. Mm -hmm. Let's go beat up these hideous monsters. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Onwards we go. Onwards we go. You know, I just realized there has to be people that played this game that don't even know the characters have their unique, like, uh, attack button. So, like, characters like Rivali, they don't use to their full extent. Because you need to hit the special attack button to send him into the air. And I don't think he has a combo that sends him into the air. He does have a combo that sends him back onto the ground. It's that one. Be still. Be still indeed. Be gone, Ice Moblin. You fall to Rivali. Again, one of my favorite things about these kinds of games is when the characters do, like, call out to the others. <laughs> Link! Say goodbye. Well, now you've got some talent. Perhaps I'll inspire you to greater heights. 
It's really no surprise so many people just shipped <laughs> Revali and Link together. No idea why those guys just refuse to be hit by, <laughs> by the combo. They're like, nah, I don't want to be hit by the combo. They just deny it. I'll fuse. <laughs> I almost said fuse you. I will keep your body. Fuse you into another being. Alright, we shall... I guess send Link on that away. How dare you stab me right as I load in. <laughs> Be still indeed. Prepare to be gone. Take this. Hmm, the ability to shoot arrows that quickly seems terrifying. I got hit by a single dragon bone club. Illegal. Ooh, vicious monster has been discovered. Time to murder. It's an electric chew. It's a giant electric chew. I should probably get out of the water. Health advocate? I wasn't able to be comboed. The hell. Be gone. How about stasis for you? you? Utter freak. Ooh, if I get Ravali over here, I might be able to. Well, maybe not. They probably have that as an obvious rules patch. Where you can't, like, uh, swap to another character and use runes on them as well. Even though I think that'd be neat. Get Flurry Rush, idiot. Be still. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck off, ice bitch. Doing combos here, you fucko. Just ice asshole getting in the way, and I'm in the corner. I'm doomed. Quit hitting me, you asshole. I'm killing your boss. You stand a chance. Fantastic. That's right, run away, you bastards. Throwing your uh, just elemental shit at me. So stop my combos. High yield ancient furnace. This device is seemingly used in the creation of ancient relics that can convert any material into pure energy, though the mechanism it uses to do so is shrouded in mystery. And I wasn't using bombs! Granted, there wasn't much use for bombs there. I need to remember spam bombs in some of these scenarios. It's just like the runes are too good to keep for like obliterating enemies like to expose their weak point so there's not really much point to using them on fodder enemies 
There just isn't much point to it. You're here. Yahoo! Let's see. I need 15. Don't be a stranger. Oh, we can come down here and do this. A fierce thunderstorm is approaching, which Orbosa sees as an opportunity to elevate her lightning harnessing abilities. To be safe, she ought to do something to increase her electrical resistance. <laughs> Urbosa's training that. session with the yellow choo-choo jelly was a success, notwithstanding a couple of shocks. She learned a new move. And down here, through the desert. And is it timed? It's not timed. Don't bother battle info. Gerudo Desert is home to many dangerous monsters. Prepare yourself. Traveling through it to Gerudo Town is sure to be a dangerous journey. And uh, it is a recommended level of uh, 24. All right, why not? And let's do Urbosa. Can we start eating already? Not half bad. And from YouTube chat. So yeah, Phil Mom was created to be the leader of, or the master of the Velvet Room with Igor and its residents. Huh. So I wonder why they decided to continue with Igor being the main representative of the Velvet Room and not bring back Philemon. Or who knows, maybe they've decided to put him into the shadows and maybe could bring him back, because that's one thing. Technically, they could bring him back whenever, it's just they haven't made reference to him. After all this time. That's still the question of why they decided to not really reference him or bring him up at all. How dare you hit me. How dare you hit me again. I wonder if it was because maybe they just preferred Igor as like the master of the Velvet Room. Or again, could be they just uh, wanted to put the other guy into as a mysterious figure and could always bring him back later. It does beg curiosity, though. Hey, right, will you fuck off with your bow and arrows? Goodbye. Again, like the similar thoughts. I now wonder how many, like, non Ganon enemies there have been in Zelda games. Because I know there's Majora from Majora's Mask. But I wonder what other, like, non Ganon, non Ganon dwarf enemies there's been over the years. Fuck off, fire boys. Quit spamming your fire abilities. It's illegal. So many projectile spamming jerks in this desert. And I'm not even one of them. I'm not playing Rivali this time. Get blasted. I'm gonna guess that a uh, Melduga is gonna show up. Yep, a Melduga has appeared. I uh, haven't been using my bombs. Fuck.
Dodged a bomb, did it? like half of its bar. Okay, you guys need to just fuck off. <laughs> Projectile enemies are bothering me in the distance. One nice thing with Herbosa, I don't have to worry about her, like, trying to activate the, the rune, only to be smacked anyway, like Link. Because Link stood on top of the like, or like launches himself off of it, more to say. So wrong timing can end up with Link still hit. Come on, smack your head into this and prepare to die, Melduga. You hideous monster. Roughly half weak point each time. Not terrible. Not terrible at all. Get smacked with your weird voices. We are. And that just full, fills me back up on all my lightning. Well, now that you're low on health, apparently the music has decided to change. Like, conceptually, what even are you? Like, biologically. You have like legs, you're kind of a frog, kind of a fish, you have fins, you have a fucked up chin. Yeah, that, was, that was way too far. I was not one, I, I thought there's like, oh, is this a low health thing? No, I just decided to be a bomb. <laughs> Ask for bomb this time. And then it just died. Goodbye, Melduga. You are now dead. Waha. I killed nine enemies of bombs. I need to use more bombs. I wonder if it will accept any explosion. Probably not. It has to be rune bombs. A vicious presence fled off. Yeah, probably the big one up by the forest, but not like I could have done that one. That was like asking for th like I like what level forty, level f something something. Yeah. It was asking for big things. Uh, ah. I do believe that's enough side questing for Here now. Let's do this. I'll take all my hearty truffles, but take them. I forgot to read. Extraordinary! <laughs> we can now make food of the same quality with fewer ingredients. What a boon! Though I do wish Pura hadn't found me passed out from hunger and drooling on the floor. Now we have uh, less ingredient requirements for cooking. Use fire rod to defeat enemies. To up heart recovery. I guess this wouldn't take too much for apple discount. What's better than fresh, juicy apple? How about the same apple for less? If we can increase production and lower growing time and transportation costs, prices should plummet. Put those fucking farmers out of business, Link! 
With the help of ancient relics, we increased apple harvesting efficiency. It'll take some time to reap the rewards, but as thanks, you can already enjoy a nice discount. Then all the way down here is new stock added for merchants! And that requires a vicious monster attack. Six, uh, ten diamonds and topazes. Jesus. Just Jesus? Thanks. Yes, quite. I will definitely need to do lots of grinding. Let's see, that's just asking for chicken legs. Royal escort. Why? Because of the because this is the only other thing which has blah blah blah. So I guess if we did this quickly. We could probably knock that out and only have the other things, so yeah, maybe. Today's assignment is joint training exercises with Hyrulean forces. Spar with the soldiers that are heading your way. You have a lot to look for. Let's have Ravali kick some ass. So yeah, now we... Everything is like costs less resources. Nice. Surprising. And from YouTube chat, have you noticed butterflies being the main theme representing for Persona series in the Velvet Room in every title? I mean, all of them always have a butterfly appearance and storyline. I only played a little bit of Persona 3, but it does seem like there's a decent amount of butterfly stuff in... Oh no, I, I played a little bit of Persona 4, that's it. Because my brain just is like, ah, I've been playing Persona 3, but then I played a little bit of Persona 4, so the brain just got yank. But yeah, I noticed like a little bit of butterflyness, not a ton ton for me, but there's probably more that I'm just glossing over. And, uh, and in here, I'll definitely need to spam bombs. Spam bombs, spam bombs, spam bombs. And I guess maybe fire if they really, really gather up. So that we can just, just, oh, is it just one guy? That's disappointing. Be still. Just six guys? That's not enough for bombs. I wanted whole hordes of enemies that I could bomb to death. <laughs> you spawned in having your ass kicked. How does it feel? How dare you stab me? Oh, multiple. It's almost like he said pain. You're all being annihilated. You're in the. <laughs> yeah, I think he's actually is saying pain. That is hilarious. How dare you hit me? It's illegal. Go ahead and do this because we can. You wield your claymore too frivolously. Fool. I kill you. Oh yeah, hello, Impa. You just came out attacking. You threw me so so off I forgot to let my extra stasis damage go through. And that was st st still almost enough for How the hell did you summon a frog? What are you, Naruto? Goodbye, Impa. Fantastic. Get blasted. Well, well. I was going to just blow up a ton of Hylians with bombs. But it was just six. You can't blow up six Hylians with bombs. It's just inefficient.
God, we've got so many weapons, though. Load faster. But we do need to beat up one of these. I think that that would be very easy. Because it's just level 17. So it's level 34. <laughs> we finally got it. Well, since these are, like, limited and you just popped up, I'm going to come in here and obliterate you quickly. You call this surprising. So we get another vicious... Ravali sails off into the night to murder beasts. <laughs> the folks at the Royal Ancient Lab have assigned descriptive titles to vicious monsters based on their individual characteristics. Like the the the, the electro chew that was just like what healthy diet or some he healthy lifestyle or something. This will just be the stone talus again. Obliterate, obliterate. Destroy them all before they even know what's happening. Be still indeed. Freak of nature. Already your health is just gone. That's a lot of like just like spears just in the ground. It's a waste of an axe. How dare you? Well, since I have my specials up and running, I might as well blast them. You stand a chance. Might as well just confirm that you guys die super quick. Oh, nope, it's an electro true this time. So it is randomized. Even though I've only ran into two different ones these two different times. Well, I guess technically this is a third. Rolling around at the speed of slime. Cool down. I forgot to use bombs in there against those guys. Against the normal minions. I guess he just decided, hey, let's make vicious monsters out of just, like, normal enemies. Cool down. Which is cute. Take Too easy. And it feels like these have their own... You're rolling very slowly. How the hell is that a thing? I thought you, they'd be, like... Rolling super fast. You stand a chance. Walk the hand. Be still. Time for your obliteration. You still finished. probably won't kill you, but we'll do hefty damage. How do you even have eyes? You're goo. Angry moblins just out from my skin. Goodbye. And now all your moblin friends can run away. It's just a bunch spawned in out of nowhere.
and we're just getting tons of weapons. I'm almost surprised we don't have to sell any Revali weapons because we've been getting so many Revali weapons. Probably because, like, the head character for these vicious monsters probably get a decent amount of weapons as a clear award. Oh, we can indeed do you now. Good cheer. Hestu wants to cheer up a Korok who's feeling sad. He can shake up a super cheery dance for his little friend. If he has the right materials, get him what he needs. I'm never going to have a surplus of chicken legs. Hestu did his super cheery dance for the Korok, who joined the frolic and cheered right along. So Hestu showed you his happy dance. Shaki Shaka! Oh, and we got level 2 Central Hyrule. Huzzah! I wasn't even intending for that. Let's You're see. Here. Yeah, because I just need red chewed jelly. That's probably another thing that has, like, everything up there. So really, I should probably take that off. Until I want to grind for it. Thanks. Yes, quite. Yes, quite. But that's been enough stalling. First, we should probably come here and fuse, since we have a bunch of... Rupees and weapons. that we had it. Could have sworn that there was a damage per 100 KO weapon, but I'm just not here. Huh. Weird. Could have sworn that there was one. I must be going insane. But there was a high resell in there, so... I do like that they're actually highlighted as, hey, this sells for more. Mm -hmm. Sure, nobody else has any higher resell among, which it doesn't look like they do. <laughs> and now on along. Well, <laughs> no, because I think everything should be good. I don't think we have like a good amount of money to buy. Like we can buy a singular diamond. It's like, like all of this is crazy. I'll have to. Yeah farm rupees and grab them on my own time. But we've been procrastinating enough. Akala Tower. And of course, we're gonna bring along the boy because Ravali is top tier. Surprising. Mm -hmm. As we go to Akala Tower. King Rome, narrate As us in. The pilots learned how to manipulate the arcane machinery of their divine beasts. Pura led a research expedition to the otherworldly edifice that had appeared on Hyrule Field. Otherworldly edifice. Continue. This Sheikah Tower was far from the only one of its kind. Ah. In fact, such structures were embedded deep in the earth throughout the kingdom. Their emergence controlled by a device inside Hyrule Castle. To activate the control device, they would have to bond the Sheikah Slate with a Sheikah Tower. Zelda, Hura, and the champions set out to do just that. You know, I never did think, like, hey, I wonder why all the towers activated along with the Slate. Meanwhile, here, in Age of Calamity, they are kind of going step by step and kind of more in depth. Of like, yeah, why were the towers connected to the slate? That's actually kind of cool.
Studying relics again. I knew it. He's here to ruin everything. Father! You think you have time to busy yourself with things like that? It's just that I... Because let me guess, that thing is a gift from your mother. The egg is upset -y. It's trying to speak and be like, come on, old man. Be an old man. This is from a long time ago. It's a relic I found one day while Mother and I were out exploring. Come on, Rome. Soften just a little bit. Mother and I, we discussed it at some length together. It seemed special, like it might hold hidden powers. Even after all this time, I've yet to unravel its purpose. But Father, if you allow me to uncover the meaning behind such relics, I believe it could help us to- Enough! That is not for you to determine. It doesn't mean I won't continue with my training, Father. But I also want- I want to explore all options, to do everything that I can. Even so. It seems that you are avoiding your duty. How is she avoiding her duty, old man? I will allow it for now. But do not forget your mission. Also kind of interesting, because it seems like he's a bit softer in this compared to Breath of the Wild. Where he, like, completely forbade it. It could be because of the, like, extra, like, riding and death going into things. Adding on that bit of Zelda potentially associating the relics with her mother to a degree. And, like, her want to explore them. <laughs> Back to the banana worshipping of the evil egg. So, if they can fix that Sheikah thingamajig, what does that mean for me? I mean, us. That thingamajig will tell them where we are and what we're doing. Suka's. <laughs> Suka's nice. The cover would be blown, huh? Sounds like bad news. <laughs> Measures are being taken. Huh? Soon you'll each have your own parts to play. <laughs> the evil egg is screaming. Respect, sugar. <laughs> yet she still left was possessed by calamity or was that aster of destruction with it just I a low this world giggle to its knees <laughs> you are blind seer calamity again is not for mortals to control <laughs> I just I just really like the fleshing out of everything that Age of Calamity does. <laughs> the tower demands Sheikah Slate. Congratulations, you have caused more earthquaking. and the others had successfully activated the central tower. Under Pura's guidance, they embarked on a mission to restore the ancient structures all across Hyrule. And then the royal family can have just like a whole buh, 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 information network. 
They had no notion that a shadowy foe was amassing all its might to disrupt their quest. The party headed for Akala, where the final tower awaited, as did a Yiga clan ambush. <laughs> we just skip all the other ones, go straight to Akala being the final one. Which you'd think wouldn't have been, considering that it's like... I presume, like, nearby a... In fact, I think it's on top of a, like, entire structure base. So you'd think that they'd be able to go do that one easily, and then the ones more in the wilderness, like, uh, the... You, in fact, you'd think that the one that appeared not too far from the Yiga clan hideout would be the one, like, oh no, we can't let them get to this one. They're basically on top of us. <laughs> Report the Yiga Clan stormed Akala Citadel. They've already captured it. <laughs> Meanwhile, within canon, like, uh... The Akala Citadel is meant to be this big, impenetrable thing. To reach that tower, we'll have to retake the Citadel. Also, how many Sh Yiga Clan guys exist that are able to storm an entire Citadel and win? They've blocked the bridge. Well played, Yiga. Yes. This place used to have a research lab. Look, the guardians they were studying are still here. If we can activate a guardian with the little one, we may be able to clear a path. Also, these are wood. We're annihilating armies. I feel like we can destroy the wood. Right on cue, the army of Hyrule has arrived. Yiga, annihilate them. Dang it. We've come all this way. Those who stand against us will meet a swift end. Prepare to die. We'll annihilate the... No, no doing that. That's illegal. And since uh, the other Blade Master has stepped into view. How about yes, like this? No. There is like an under area. Oh, <laughs> using a full guardian. Just evaporated that. Which actually, so. Okay, you two can follow each other. And then I think I'll send Ravali down that way. Because stuff is obviously going to happen down there. Map's too big for it to not be used. Get comboed. Also, so neat that the, like, Yiga clan is working with Calamity monsters. At least seemingly. She is following just very slowly. Link too fast, too furious. Reveal your big Yiga so that he might die with his weird ass posture. Goodbye. Another blocked bridge. Can you manage this one too, little knight? The little one is tapped out for now. Perhaps we can use an ancient furnace to provide power. Let's 
use the ancient furnace to supplement the little one's energy. Just upgrade the egg. There will be no stopping him now. I should have everybody group up instead since it's gonna be like this. And you, Link, you can stay there. It seems unwise to leave these odd relics unattended. Everyone, you know what to do. I'd like to do a better Suga voice to do it justice, but... It's just so deep of a voice! And now my brain... Like, flits to... The, uh, Switch 2. Since there's been some rumors and rumored leaks going on. I wonder, like, if it is backwards compatible if, like, uh, like, uh, there will be updates to games to run better on Switch 2 if it is backwards compatible. I'd hope so, because, like, Switch 2 seems like a great opportunity to do great backwards compatibility stuff. Of course. <laughs> the Clan is in our way. But not for long. <laughs> Goodbye, Blade Master. Yet another victory. Scorching sands, the gates will not open. They excel at slowing us down. I recall a guardian within the citadel. If we activate it, it could break the gate from within. And how do we do that? I guess we'll go up. Hmm. Well, we'll probably just stick together. I imagine that would require even more energy. So I guess go to more forges. Now is time. Destroy the relic. No, the furnace. Without its energy, we can't. Send him a direct to go. How about no? You shall not destroy these furnaces. They're very important. Oh, we got a diamond from that! Hell yeah! We don't have to spend 2,000 rupees! Another blade master. I heard a blo I heard an enemy like rune activation. Like oh, you can hit an enemy like weak with the runes. What the, what the hell? Dare play rune music? Excuse me, I'll just obliterate you all. Vandalism is a crime, so I'll vandalize even more. This will not be a simple task for you. No, no. And you can 
can go after Link. Link. <laughs> Wait, it said investigate. Where's the battle log? Investigate the simple ancient furnace. Oh, activate them too. Ah, it's a good thing. But I'm gonna quickly head down there so Link can be properly defending those ones down here. As Zelda just zooms on by. You think with her on the battlefield, the enemies would be like, oh, we can take out Zelda. Granted, she is a bit more badass in this version. <laughs> I did that. So yeah, we need to activate them. I am a fool. All right, Link, you can head down there as I. Fine, fine. <laughs> fine, fine. Oh, he's just such a, such a neat character. Yeah, man, you can give me. You are literally flying. How are you stuck by debris on the ground? Illegal. Also, how dare you knock me out of my combo? Even more maximum illegal. Be gone, moblin. You're not even a part of the mob. We've done it. We have enough energy now. Let's activate the Guardian within the Citadel. Would be funny if Sugo was just like, No, we have to stop them. Quick, destroy the Guardian within the Citadel. It just feels like this place is big down here. It's probably true to, like, the game, but still... Go ahead and tell Zelda to go up there for Boasa. How dare you have bows and your spit power? Maximum evil, the lot of you. No lung, no wonder you were summoned by Genun. By the end of this war, there's going to be no trees left. Ganon chuckles. His entire plan was just to remove all the trees so they suffocate. Through the power of warfare, I shall scourge the lands. They defeat me, but then they have no oxygen. <laughs> also, I can only imagine, like, how much, how many more enemies they could put on the screen at a time if this had, like, a Switch 2. 
just like, oh, this is running on Switch 2, amp up the, <laughs> the power kind of setting. If again, if Switch 2 even has backwards compatibility, which I can only assume that the Switch 2 would. Because the Switch is an overwhelming success for Nintendo, I feel. Especially when compared to other, like, console makers. Because usually, conventional console wisdom was to sell the console at a loss so that you can then make up the, like, difference in software sales. Because then you can sell powerful hardware for slightly, like, a bit less than it otherwise would be worth. Because... Otherwise, like, if you sold, like, some console hardware for, like, their actual price for profit price, it probably would have been extremely expensive. Meanwhile, Nintendo usually goes by the philosophy of selling a console with slightly outdated hardware so that, like, they master that hardware, make good things for that hardware, but the hardware itself isn't too, too expensive to actually make and put out there. Especially because compared to, like, the PlayStation 5 Pro, I think a Switch 2 could do really, really well if it's priced properly. In fact, one of the things I was, uh, heard or was, like, pondering if the Switch 2 will have an OLED screen or a normal, like, similar screen to what the normal Switch uses to bring down cost. Because... Yeah. The Guardian's on a rampage! Run away! They didn't have to blow up. My warriors, what are you doing? All that's left is to chase the Yiga clan out and defeat their ringleader. There is no alternative now. Let's see. Ah, oh, good, I'm going the proper way for just destroying my enemies. Not bad, Ravine. Here I thought you were all squawk. How very rude. Now I wonder, like, at what price point the Switch 2 will release at. Because the Nintendo Switch, the first one, released for $300. Then the Switch OLED, the better quality screen one, sold for $350. So I could see an LCD screen Switch 2 sell for like a 400. Maybe 350 if they really wanted to. Because that is one interesting thing about like Nintendo hardware. Ever since like the GameCube to the Wii, they started to jump up by, like, $50 each, like, a uh, new console, as opposed to jumping up crazily. Which is especially interesting because a lot of their early consoles were, like, $150 to $200. Like, the NES, I believe, was $150, then the 
SNES was 200, N64 was 200, GameCube was 200. All not accounting for inflation at all, too. Oh, hello, Suga. Watch and learn. You must face me. You didn't stand a chance. Be still. <laughs> You've only fought Link, haven't you? You've never fought Burrito Warrior. Yeah, I see you have some skill. Well then. We've gone. We must search within the castle, within the citadel. I mean, citadel, castle, kind of same thing. Well, then back to my thoughts. Because, like, uh... Starting with the uh, GameCube to the Wii, they went up from 200 to 250. Then I believe the Wii U was a hundred, uh, like a, I forget it. It was a similar amount to, like, all the rest. I think it was also 250, or it could have been 300. Oh, no, because I think the Wii might have stayed at 200. I'm trying to think, because there's at, uh, there comes a point in uh, Nintendo like price raising philosophy where they basically only up the price by fifty dollars each one starting I think with the Wii. But I could be mistaken. I can use this. I'll just crazily use bombs to get some extra bomb kills in. I can use this to slightly kill some enemies. Too easy. Hey. I think you'll be the first blue main Lionel I kill ever. Like, in, in my current streamed playthroughs. zoom in a bit more. I guess they kind of loop in on themselves. Take this. Get blasted, idiot. They actually invaded and had time to set up a store of bananas. Oh, did you come to fight me, Suga? Oh, where did he come from? Bullshit lad. He will regret showing his ugly face. Or I guess not showing it because he's wearing a mask. Get blasted, Suga. Rito better than Hylian. Hmm, you're quite good. Perhaps next time, then. He disappeared again. He's gonna be, uh, be around here. Leave no stone unturned. I'll just keep bombing these, like, I can use this. groups of enemies. Get my bomb kills up. Ooh! Yes. Big bunch of enemies to destroy. Unfortunately, I used my rune, so I can't use it on you. But you're a weak enemy, so I can kill you somewhat easily. Did you... Did I just whack you so hard that your weak point flew out, or what? You're finished. 
Also, if I recall, the Citadel, like, didn't have an interior. So I think they, like, actually had to design an interior for this place. Like, Hyrule Castle is one thing because, like, uh... Mole of you attack. We must undo their forces. Because, like, uh, Hyrule Castle kind of was designed. You stand a chance. Meanwhile, Get like, uh, I'm fairly certain the entire Citadel was roughly ground in so you couldn't actually <laughs> have an idea what its, its insides were like. We've done what we could. Retreat. Time to retreat. And I got another diamond. Finally, he turned tail. Now we can restore the tower. Indeed. Yes, of all this, all the towers will be restored. Will serve us well in facing the calamity. Yeah, it doesn't look like there was anything upward ahead in, the, like the top of the tower or the citadel. Up oh, there we go. We'll be able to get another damage for a hundred KOs in there. We got three freaking diamonds. We are one diamond away from our goal in the Dibbity Die. I, I actually forget exactly what he's just like. Oh my god. Oh yeah, because it's add more wares to the the people. Sheikah rune damage plus 15. That's nothing to scoff at. And we completed our remote bombs. Now we just need to burn people alive. Cutscene time. What a magnificent view! We're so high up! Pura? Have you found anything yet? I see. Hmm. So, by bonding this with the Sheikah Slave... What's that? Pura? She's absorbed Listen, in technology. Princess, these towers have got a lot of power hiding inside. The Sheikah Towers were designed to scan their surroundings for Calamity Ganon. When we activate them, the terminals load the Sheikah Slate with a map of the area. Yeah. You can see the geography nearby and locate monsters as easy as click snap. Locate monsters? So we can track down the enemy and take them by surprise. Precisely! Don't lose the Sheikah Slate. That's why it has a handle. Rather than just telling you about it, why don't I give you a little demo? A demo of the thing you've just discovered. Also, again, those abs. Like, Zelda just produces a lot of great designs. Like, in every single game. Right, multiple new icons, stars, Sheikah sensor, Cryon is a ton, just a ton of things, never stopping. Why are all these stars? What is going on? Why? Why? It just never ended. Five million years. Yeah, okay, you're pointing at that one. You want all of my rupees! All of my rupees! Offering help on the road. A weary traveler is upset to have crossed the desert in search of the great fairy fountain, only to find he doesn't have enough for an offering. You should help him. Right? How much rupees do I even have? How, how much rupees do I even have? That's basically all of my rupees! Qualify for the trial of the great fairies. Mm. Let's see, because I can sell. What things can I sell? Almighty bananas. Rushrooms are three. 
Bundle of woods are two. Amaranths are five. Like, I'm looking for things that I have an abundance of. Well, apparently we're missing out on these entirely. Ooh, we're definitely not selling any of these. Like, it seems like monster parts could sell decently, but at the same time, I think monster parts are also some of the most plentiful we need to give in. Oh. Well, we might as well. The game is pointing at it. Oh, the pain. You did well. The Traveler came back to Gerudo Town after making the offering to the Great Fairy and rewarded you with double what you gave him. Oh. Huh. May travelers always be so br blessed. I almost said breast. And now there are fairy fountain... like... unlocks. See Korok details in battle. Oh, in battle info. A Korok wants to possess a flower that swirls with butterflies. The creature seems to know much about the Korok community and may have something special to tell you if you help. Give me the information. Good work. The Koroks got their flower that blooms and swirls of butterflies. In return, they taught you about a Korok hiding place that no one knows about. Discount an East High Rule. Uh, this seems like a decent thing. Eastern Hyrule has developed to the point that people rely on the transport of goods day and night. Gather all the light sources you can to make the roads safe to travel after dark. Considering they're being hunted by the Yiga, probably. Impressive. <laughs> probably would help. With your light sources installed, the roads got brighter, and that led to more people than ever traveling the roads that will aid the region in its development. Discount in West Hyrule. A merchant group wants to improve the flow of regional goods around Western Hyrule. Help them prepare for the varied climates they'll travel through. You're taking all of my meat, Joseph. Amazing! Thanks to your help, the merchant group was ready for anything. Heat, cold, or lightning. They'll continue to keep moving goods for the sake of everyone in their regions. Completion rate? Oh! For clothing. 50 wheat and clothing. Doo -doo. A bonus combo. Sheikah slate bonus combo. Copious mushroom skewers. A cook wants to create a, a new dish using mushrooms, but is frustrated by a lack of fresh ideas. It doesn't help that she doesn't have ingredients either. Get her various mushrooms. Just throw them all in. The cook finally had a mushroom breakthrough and created an entirely new dish. She doesn't give you the... She's given you the recipe, so you can make it for yourself whenever you want. Movement speed plus 15. The snow boots requires completion of this area. What's up here? Military training camp discount. Well, obviously that one won't be too bad. You mean I can get just? You mean I can just get some diamonds as a first clear? Oh, that that might be nice to do in a moment. Let me glance around though, because there's so many new things that got added. <laughs> the Sheikah pants <laughs> for completing Akala. A rumor about Skull Lake. You've heard that when night falls at Skull Lake, a merchant sometimes appears who trades special items for monster parts. Find out if the rumor is true. Good thing I didn't go sell it. Beautiful work. The rumor about a merchant at Skull Lake is true. He's running a shop called the Fang and Bone and is deeply fascinated by monsters. You'll likely meet him again someday. Yeah, in like a hundred years. The Skull Lake merchant's handmade bokoblin gear. It's almost charming in a cute monstrous kind of way. Equip it to be one step closer to a true bokoblin. And that just unlocks... Okay. Sure. I think that there is a Goron. Where's the Goron? He just sells that shit. Yeah. Mm. Oh. 
I'll unlock a new stable. Oh, wait, first we read. A stable master has a curry problem. Well, the problem is really with one of his regular customers who wants curry with a strange ingredient. Find it, monster extract, and then proof of murder of monsters. <laughs> for once, you've done well. The stable master thanked you for helping him satisfy his strange curry customer. He invited you to come back to the stable any time, but, ugh, monster extract curry? And now we have more options. More Sheikah sensor registrations. Definitely worth it. Feed the research. One of the new researchers has a strong insights about, but an even stronger appetite. For a moment, my brain just like, ah, yeah, 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 trouble reading. She says she can't form a thought unless her belly is full. Make a large meal to feed her genius. After cleaning her plate, the researcher sank her teeth into her work, and soon enough she discovered how to make the Sheikah sensor more powerful. The number of registrations for the Sheikah sensor has been increased. Reduce time between cryonis uses. Whether because of body heat or a fluke of air temperature, the room designated for Sheikah slate research is unbearably hot and stuffy. Help those poor researchers cool down. Beautiful work. The researchers could focus much better with white choo-choo jelly cooling them off. Their work progressed by leaps and bounds. They even came up with a more potent version of Cryonis. And what's the bonus down here? The Thunder Helm. That's kind of neat. <laughs> the rubber, like pants. Completion there. New colors at the dye shop. Neat. Oh, apparently. Well, I guess it makes sense. Yeah, I just put you on. I have lots of money. I'll buy stuff from you. Ba 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 ba. Researchers trying to develop an upgrade for stasis have come out empty-handed. Guardian parts might give them a hint, but how could they possibly obtain those? Murder a guardian. They're not alive. Amazing. Not yet. Within days of receiving the ancient materials, researchers announced a new upgrade for stasis. More than the items themselves, your show of support had made all the difference. Hmm. Well, that's definitely the one I use the most. The researchers are planning to develop improvements for Magnesis, but they're concerned about the risk of electrocution. Maybe there's something you can do to allay their fears. <laughs> With a boost to their electricity resistance, the researchers were able to work in perfect safety. Soon they developed a major upgrade to the Magnesis ability. And then bombs. There's a researcher at the ancient tech lab who is passionate about science of combustion. He thinks he can make remote bombs even more potent given a few guardian parts. Give him all the parts! Bravo! Superb! Though the inner workings of remote bombs are still shrouded in mystery, there's no doubt that the materials you provided led to a boost in their explosive potential. Now let's see, Royal Escort, Hair with Trial, one hit failure. Fairy Fountain, Deep Snow. I guess we should do the Fairy Fountain since we unlocked them. Hmm. It's been a bit since we played Impa. Let's play Impa. Let's see. Yep. Well, that's onward. So, Fairy Fountain Trials. <laughs> Although that was a big, like, tricksy tricksiness. Because usually when it comes to the fairies, you give them money, you don't get that back. So, for them to be like, surprise, you get double your money. 
Such a porous bunch. Be a deer and get rid of them, will you? Well, you're not an ice moblin, but... You are a blue moblin. Dang it. Terrible. Bam, bam, bam. I got Flurry Rush. <laughs> Keep charging. There we go. Time for murder. It's playing kind of whimsical music, too. In fact, I think I remember. I, I recognize like a, a motif that was in there. We must destroy him for his illegalness. Be gone. Along my army of clones, destroy our enemies. I am ready. It's time. Ah, good. We still hit. We're facing a bad way, so I almost didn't expect it to go through. Man, these upgrades to the runes are gonna come in so good. There we go. Say goodbye. Hello, Blue Moblin. How dare you kick me? Illegal. Now, basically, the stasis room can be used to combo super effectively. Yes. I summon the toad. Gambabunta. Get bombed. I think spamming, like... The stance button does a, a decent enough amount of damage. Like the given stance for activating the stasis room there. I got a rush in. Was not expecting that. Oh, you weren't even one of the guys I was supposed to kill. In that matter. I'll just blast you. Might as well. I hardly use my magic. Might as well <laughs> gather up some of these trees. We have just a mob of enemies here. Oh yeah. We gotta save the Rito captain. So we can utterly annihilate all of you. 
get toted. One second, I'll take care of these guys so they don't snipe me. Be very rude if they're sniping. Dead. Dang it. Stasis, halt. My dodging is so terrible right now. No. Oh, right after I used it too. Oh, I did a thing apparently. Use big guys to kind of trick out runes. Gotcha. Give me that rune. Yeah, you are not gonna snipe me, jerks. God. Those Zolfos were just taking my attacks, how dare they? Stasis. Get stasis, to idiot. One second. No sniping. Die already, please. I only have limited health. That combo was. I somehow went up into the air. How about you stop that? It smacked a lot while my clones pray. A big health thank you and sorry for the trouble. Oh, apparently got a lot of rupees. Oh! Over here, come and find me, sweetness. your thievery. I'm the great fairy Kaisa. I wasn't able to read that because I was just surprised by your existing as a boss to fight. I completely forgot about this. Somehow I also got a, a rush in. Will you please stop just whacking around? Get bombed. Jesus. You are illegal. This is far too, like, snowy for one of your buds to be out here, great fairies. Also, it's moving. There was no way I was able to dodge that, I don't think. Where is your hell? Okay, now... Yeah, at least her big, big attacks, I guess, have tell of, hey, activate rune power. Oh, dear. I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh. I don't think I've ever heard a, like, a full sentence out of them before. Or even any words before now. Interesting. And 
We're just getting so many rupees. Or not rupees, but so many weapons per fight scenario now. A vicious presence fled. Yeah. Because the... I'm busy doing things. Let's see. This is Fairy Fountain. Daily Drills. Mighty Thunder of the Gerudo. Colosseum. No healing items. Time limited. Interesting. Fairy Fountain's Grassy Plains. Strike it rich. Anti-lightning. Fish out of water. If we could do the... Down here. And we shall you go back to being Ravali. You call this food? Oh. Because I, I got new stuff, so it bumped the thing around. From Twitch chat. Howdy, how we doing? We're doing good. We just unlocked an absolute ton of map icons. The great fairies decided to juke me by being like, ah, give 4,500 rupees and become broke. Psych, we're actually going to double it <laughs> and give it back to you. And now I guess we're hunting down the great fairies, I guess. The alluring scent of rupees drifts on the wind. From the bandits' purses, bring me the rupees. Because now I have to steal from the Yiga. They stole from people, now I get to steal from them. Equivalent exchange. Go this way. Utterly annihilate the enemies. Your archery is pitiful. And you failed to be in the air for a long period of time, too. Also pitiful. Be still. I'm dead. I messed up. I dodged too quickly. He just gave it to me for free. Goodbye, Blade Master. Get another bit. Go over here to obliterate you. We must hunt the eager for their money. Up oh, wrong thing. Oh well. How dare you stab me? Much illegal. There we go. I don't know why. It just seems easier to get flurry rushes dodging as Ravali compared to, like, Impa. I think it's because, like, each character feels like they have their own, like, dodges almost. Which is neat. More Yika clan to destroy. More money to steal. Big Hom. Your money is mine. How dare you shoot me out of the air for your subpar archery? The ultimate combo. Now more effective than ever. Get now we might as well go on take on this talus. No. In fact, I have 
full special meter, so I should use it. You stand a chance. And then you'll come smashing down. I can ride. Behold. Smash you a lot. You're finished. Say goodbye. Get another but ah. Yes. Oh, good, we got Topaz. We need that. Annihilate them all and their mighty bananas. It might actually just turn into a possible, like, money making scheme. Kill Yiga for their bananas. Sell them for massive profit. Take this. Get another victory. Still. I almost missed that. Goodbye. You know, for the amount of Yiga we've annihilated for rupees, it doesn't feel like, and we got another diamond. It honestly feels like the moment we I saw that, oh, hey, we need a bunch of diamonds quest in the, like, royal laboratory. It just, like, immediately went, and it's like, eh, here's all the, the, the diamonds that you need. I understand why some enemies just decide I will not be hit this day. Damage means nothing to me. Give me your rupees. They belong to me now. And I have to go hunt. Hunt individual Yiga. For their, their, their lunch money. Their sandwich change. I just need eleven more, eleven more rupees, Yiga. Just a bit more, and then I can stop killing you. You're finished. I should probably do it. Probably down here, I assume. <laughs> you have them. I can smell them. Hurry up and hand them over. All this mugging. I began with more rupees than they had. Terra appeared. Oh, the power. <laughs> Pardon me. I'm a great fairy Terra. Do we not have to fight you? You're a friend. In exchange for these stunning rupees, I will lend you my strength. But first, show me yours. Ah, oh, we're gonna have to fight you. Just don't fight off rip. How rude. Watch and learn. Yeah, the last one was just full on, I'm going to fight you. You gave me rupees. Now give me your life. You or you just gave me a warning. Oh, you gave me rupees. Now I shall fight you to test your worth. That is the clear... Why do you have a clear voice all of a sudden? I might as well just do this so it opens up your weak point again. And then I freeze you, rain down the arrows, obliterate your soul. There's so much echo on your voice, it's hard to tell what you're saying. Got, I got more rupees as a reward for that entire level than what she asked for during the level. And I 
believe there's only one more left. It is somewhere here. I think. Fairy Fountain Grassy Plains. We shall have Link take this one on. It just seems right. <sighs> I do believe there are four, so I guess if, unless I missed one spawning in, because that was during the deluge, or at least after the deluge of utter, complete icon falling, the icon avalanche. Here I am, come this way. We don't need to destroy all these guys. Although I think we do, because we have to open up the way. Free is your existence, you fool. Go ahead and use this. Take them all. Freeze you. Somehow I didn't get hit there. It was not a miracle. Nope, no kicking. I recognize that body posture. Get out of here. Oh, I need to go the right way over. Go at the wrong door. Gonna demand all these rupees from me. All the great fairies are in this universe are thieves. Well, hello, Hinox. I'll annihilate you for your existence. Okay, rude. Just Weakness, idiot. Dang it. Still no idea exactly why freeze him in the air. Does it? I guess because we whack on him in the air so it like throws off his like inertia, his momentum. Every time he takes to the air, I presume bad things for me. I just dodged into that. I dodged basically after that landed. It stabbed. Right over here, this way. Rude. Give me your guts. Octo rocks. You stop this right now. The hidey hidey shooty shooties. They just seem to shoot a lot faster than other enemies in this game. And the ranged ones always just hurt. 
Quit slapping me, you harlot! Show me your power. There we go. Full single cycle. The real question is like, if you could always move your bud, your entire like, water portal of home. Why didn't you? Because just like nobody comes give us rupees anymore. Move. Go to a more populated place. At least one of you had somewhat of a reason of like, oh, why is nobody fall coming here? It's like you were right out of Kakariko Village. How could nobody ever find you? Meanwhile, the one that I think is in the desert, that made, at least made more sense. Do I need to find, like, opportunities to use my fire wands? Just ever so slightly more. For at least that quest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vicious presence fled. And then one up there. And you are Fairy Fountain Battlefield. I guess we'll go ahead and throw Revali in. He's just like forward. really good at taking you call this weak points. Surprising. Might as well call this <laughs> Hyrule Warriors Age of Revali. <laughs> Revali and like five other Revali save the day. The Princess Ravali. <laughs> Trying to awaken the ceiling power while also being a nerd. <laughs> Young one, you must fend off the monsters. Or more like, fend off the singular monster. Because I don't really need to kill anything else, just this guy. How dare you kick me. Much illegal. Your weak point will now be obliterated. Goodbye. Like the, well, no, because they're like, I was going to say, maybe this is the first time that we have like allies with us, but no, because uh, in the Hebra Mountains, we had some Rito that were helping us, and like more like we were had to actually defend them. So just, I don't know, all the fairies putting people in danger to just get their sick rupee fetish. Okay, we gotta go fast. Watch and learn. <laughs> it is more efficient to use my special attack, freeze him, and wipe down his weak point bar than actually take him on normally. I'm on a tight schedule. Goodbye. Give me your rupees. Take this. Get another victory. I think this is... I think this is the first time we've had, like, uh... Oh, we're just ever on... Like... A tight schedule of these. You stand a chance. Be still and die. You're Too easy. You 
blast him. Get another thing. Like, I was just not paying attention to the time limits. Okay, good. That other guy is coming on in. You can stand a chance. Which means I can do this. I can annihilate them both really quick. Face obliteration. Get another victory. Where are they? I've been waiting. Hurry now. Come closer. So you can try and kick my ass. If I wanted to, I could probably just annihilate all the enemies on the map and come find you. And once again, just off rip. Oh, well done. If you can defeat me, I, the great fairy, will lend you my power. Only Link gets, like, warnings, I guess. Dead at the love bomb of doom. That lowered the diddly D. Okay, I shall do this. Open up your weak point again. And get a good combo this time. It is kind of interesting that they are like, it's a cool detail that each of the great fairies seems to have a different voice actress. Or like voice actor, like a different voice. It's just neat. Who knows, maybe it's the same actor. And they just do a different voice for each fairy. Fantastic. Entirely possible. And we did it. We beat them all. And we'll only get so many rupees. And that should be the last one. So what do we get again for defeating all the fairies? What is the reward? They did say they'd lend us our power. For like super upgrades. We get to upgrade Link's Drip. Then again, they're actually like units on the field. So I assume we actually get them as... Yep, the Great Fairies! Larger than life fountain dwellers. Four sisters called Terra, Kaisa, Mija, and Kotara. They are residents of secret fountains hidden across Hyrule that they can apparently move. They have temporarily gathered in a single bud to aid Link. Very interesting. And now we have a bunch of fairy unlockables. I guess upgradables more than anything. Great fairy training. Let's see. It's you. Yes. Is me. Let's see, because there was one that required. We just need to choose. Let's see. There was one that was demanding. Oh, it was up here. We could probably buy the remainder because we need yes, ten. Right. Topaz. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, Here I thought it would take me forever to do this. Yahoo! New stock added for merchants. Hmm, good work. By the power of ancient relics, more goods can be carried than ever before. This will undoubtedly revolutionize local commerce. So now just like each place will hold greater things, I guess. Let's see, services. Well, apparently not the Goron. It doesn't seem like the merchants have carry more. Maybe they have to update. 
first, and then they'll be able to. Well, you know what? Why not? We're probably not gonna super need us. Let's upgrade the dye shop. You meet the dye merchant again and learn the needs that he needs gems for dyes and to be and to fund his business. It seems that he can't create colors without the gems. How curious. He's a scammer. <laughs> Good work. The dye merchant created new colors using the gems you provided. There should be new selection of colors and Excuse me? In stock now. It's worth checking out. What the we even change just the little necklaces. But still. Neat. What we'll change here? Just the under armor? It's always the under armor of these things. Can't die metal. Shame. We just got a lot of dough. So many things we can do. Well, we've been going for nearly three hours, so I do believe that that will be it for now. Have lots of, lots and lots to do. I might do some grinding for rupees, materials. And, like, level characters up, maybe fuse weapons. I'll try not to fuse weapons, just in case. But, yeah, we just got a lot <laughs> unlocked that we can do now. Jesus. We only did, like, what, two story missions? Or was it just one? I genuinely can't remember. But that will be it for now. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And next time, maybe, on Saturday, this coming up Saturday, I might try and stream Persona 3 Portable. Mostly because it's been a while. Need to jump back into that, finish it up, not have it just hanging in the air. Because Persona 3 is a fun game. It's just brain is goes bleh sometimes when playing it. Then again, I was also in a bad headspace during those streams. But who knows? Well, I'll try to slot in some Persona 3 every once in a while. Just give it a good old try. And then, if you want other other things from me, my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings, has links to everything that I do. My edited content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings. My streaming YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games, and my streaming Twitch channel, Neon Icy Wings. So if you prefer Twitch or YouTube for streaming, you can choose. With all these streams being uploaded to the Neon Icy Games YouTube channel after the fact. And then other things like my little character in the corner and in Slates. I also upload art up like that to various social medias and art sites. I need to draw more and also upload more. Actually make art and put it out there, rather than make it and not put it out there. Again, brain goes bleh. Elsewise, I also do some writing that I upload to a few sites. Also need to do more writing. And finally, in my link tree is my glorified donation bucket Patreon for the extraordinarily kind. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. And thank you for spending your time with me. Bye. Bye.